Plaxaya is getting so realistic that it's almost impossible to tell that these images are real or AI generated. Just check out these images. They are so real that no one can tell they are made by AI. In my last video, I showed you three easy ways to access Flux AI, including using Glyph.app. We even tried the Flux Pro model in Glyph AI, but we didn't get images this good. But now, there's another way to get even more out of Flux AI. Let me show you how. First, let's understand how they achieve a HMSA results. They use something called the Flux Realism LoRa model, which is part of the Confi UI system. This tool takes AI image generation to the next level by creating hyper-realistic photos. It's trained on top-notch, high-quality images, which is why the results look so real. Just check out these example images. They almost look like real photos. You can hardly tell that these are AI generated, but here's the catch. You can only use this model inside Comfy UI, which is pretty complicated to figure out on your own. But I'll show you two AI tools you can use to create this high-quality hyper-realism images and how to create these images completely for free in Glyph AI. So first method we are going to use to access LoRa workflow model is Segmine. This is their website. You can see there are lots of models you can use to create images like Fast Flux One Channel, Flux Realism LoRa, Flux One Image to Image, Flux Dev Model, Flux Pro Model and Llama Models. You can see that Segmine have tons of image models for different styles and purposes. To create our images, we are going to use Flux Realism LoRa model. This is the interface of Realism LoRa model. In the right side, you can see a sample image that generated with this AI. And here, you can see the image prop. Young woman smiling while speaking on stage from Segmines and white background with the corporate logos blurred out. Here, you can find the number of steps. You can adjust the seed number here. Next, you can choose an aspect ratio for your image. Then you can adjust the LoRa strength number according to your image. Also, you can select this upscale option to upscale your image. Below all of that, you can see the advanced parameter option. Here, you can see we have seed option and we have schedule options to select. But I'm going to keep it as default. Next, we can select sample name option. But I'm keeping it as default. Okay, now let's create our image. For this example, I'm going to try the default image prompt and I'm going to click generate to begin. And one more thing. This is not a completely free website. Segment have a free plan that you receive 25 cents recharge daily and three save workflows and 100 MB asset storage. So if you want more options, you can upgrade to their premium plan. Okay, now here's the final result of our image. Wow, I'm truly impressed with the results. Just look at the details and quality of the image. You can see that the image girl looks so real that even the text from the background is really good and her hands and facial expressions are look so real. Now let's use this same image prompt we used here in Glyph AI and see how's the result. So come to the Glyph.app website. I'll leave this site link in description below. Here, click build and click this plus icon. Now select image generator option. Now you will come to this page. Here, in the prompt section, paste the image prompt. Next, select an image generation model. Here, you can find stable diffusion, DALI tree, Controlism, Flux Pro, Flux Dev, and Flux Channel models. Select Flux Pro model for better results. Next, select an image size. Then click Advanced Control option. Here, you can adjust the number of steps and prompt power. For this time, I'm not going to change these settings. Finally, click Run this glyph to generate the image. Alright, this is the output image of the glyph AI. If we compare the both images, this is the Segmind AI image. And this is the Glyph AI image. The first thing we can see is the skin tone and light indifference in the character. In Glyph AI, you can see our girl's skin very light and shiny in the face. But in the segment image, our image skin look more natural and real. Overall, both of the images that created with segment and Glyph AI is very good. But the segment image look more real and natural. Now let's try another prompt. This time, I'm going to change the same prompt instead of girl. I'm going to enter 45 year old man with long hair and click generate. Okay, this is the image from Segmine and you can see the image looks super good and our image character looks so real and accurate to my prompt. Let's see the same prompt in Glyph AI. Paste the new prompt in the prompt box and click run this clip. Here's the final result from Glyph AI and you can see the Glyph image. There are a little bit difference in styles and texture and lighting but overall, both of the images look good. Now let's see 
the next method to use LoRa model which is fal.ai. This is their website and first click sign up in here and sign up with your GitHub account. After you sign up, you will come to their model gallery. Here click Flux Realism LoRa and you will come to this interface. First up, we have prompt area. Here you can see a lengthy prompt in default. Next, click more and you can see some additional settings. First, you can select an aspect ratio for your image. Next, you can select number of steps and the seed value for the image. And you can find the guidance scale by default, it's 3.5. For better results, I'm going to change guidance value to 2.5. Finally, the number of images. Okay, to get started, click run. All right, this is the images we generated. Wow, the image looks so real. You can see the skin texture, lighting, and the details and facial expression are super good. And this looks like a real person photo from an event. Now let's try this image prompt in the Glyph AI to compare the result. So I'm gonna copy this prompt and paste that image prompt in the Glyph AI. This time, before click run, I'm going to change the prompt power option to 2.5. I think this value is best for creating this kind of hyperrealism images because it adjusts the lighting, texture, contrast are super smooth and real. And finally, click run this glyph. This is the output image. And I'm truly impressed with this image. This looks very realistic and you can hardly say that this is not a real person. I think prompt power value to 2.5 is the best for this kind of realistic images. So if you don't want to upgrade, to the segment of Fall AI, you can simply create hyper-realistic character images from Glyph AI completely for free. I don't know how long this AI will stay for free, so use Glyph AI if you want to create high-quality realistic images. I hope you enjoy the video and learn something new today. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also check out this video in the right side to create your first mobile app completely for free. And I'll see you there.